What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. It is rewards day. Um, I know that at 6pm today, which is actually going to be gone by the time you're watching this video, the whole Scream team is in packs. EA announced that on the Scream team promo information uh, when they released it. So it is a legitimate thing. I'm not going to be waiting for that because I CBA. I just want to get my rewards and get on with uh, with my account. Um, we've been playing with this team in Rivals last night, which you'll see the gameplay for right now. Um, the reason why we were playing with this team is because A, we were trying to complete objectives for Bathketh, which we didn't really get much into, and B, we needed points for Rank 1 in Rivals. And uh, we did a couple of two-player packs, which you'll see this as well on uh, on stream. And we managed to pull Andy Robertson, so that's pretty nice. Um, he's a like 50, 60 K player. The, one of the best players I've packed on this account, actually, in terms of value. Uh, so we've got a hope guys that we are got a hope that we made it to rank one. Please. Yeah, man. I don't know if we did. Is that four rewards? Yes, we made it rank one. Let's go. So we get a 50 K pack, a 45 K pack, uh, a 35 K pack and, uh, the qualification points, which are absolutely irrelevant. And then in foot champs, guys, we obviously get our two 100k packs. We finished on 22 wins last weekend um, and our 50k coins, which is going to be super, super nice for us. And uh, our two red player picks. Now, all I'm asking for, I don't I don't want Fabinho. I don't want anything, man. I just want Kylian Mbappe. If you guys are enjoying the content, of course, drop a thumbs up on the video. It would be very much appreciated. Yeah, please. <laughs> just give me Mbappe. That's not bad. It's not Mbappe. Four star, four star, six three, medium, medium for Ilicic. And we can link him with Edin Dzeko. It's not bad. Do I take Bellarabi? Great pace, good physicals, good dribbling and shooting. Hmm. Do I go Ilicic or Bellarabi? I think I'm going to take Ilicic for, for the 86 rated. So that's not bad. Come on, EA, man. Come on, just, just show me that French little god. Not to be, was it? We could take Chilwell. Not that I need him. Good Stam. That's tough out here, man. That that honestly, that that's that's really bad. We'll take Chilwell there, but don't worry, we can still get Mbappe in. Uh, that's it's not the, it's not the worst. Ilicic and Chilwell, not the worst. We we have had worse red picks than that. That Ilicic could be useful um, somewhere down the line. That puts us over a hundred thousand coins now as well, with a tray pile stacked full of goods where I should be able to make some uh, some uh, well well in excess of what we need. So we have got a mega pack, two 100k packs, a 50k pack and a 45k pack. We're also going to have today. Um, is that border a walkout? Yes, it is. It's a walkout. Come on, EA. Brazil. CDM. It can't be Fabinho. Oh, Fernandinho. That's terrible, isn't it? He's a bit, a bit worthless. Is he worthless? He's a bit worthless, isn't he? I have a feeling he's not worth all that much. Yeah, like 15k. Hey man, that's a, that's another 15k coins towards what we're what we're, you know, aiming for for the um for the team for this weekend league. So that's not too too bad. A couple of uh, good consumables there. Oh, a free pack. Come on, don't be a contract pack. It's a player pack. That's what you like to see, isn't it? That's what you like to see. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, we're going to have also marquee matchups today. Um, and whatever else EA may release at six. And because all the players are going to be in packs for 24 hours, I might work hard on the CSL uh, League SBC and complete that Vasquez um, setup as well so that uh, we can get the packs from, from the Elite Storyline Section 2, um, just, to, just so that we can have uh, a, good old, a good old amount of packs for today, hopefully. Here we go again. Come on. Give me a border walkout. It's not. That's tough. That's tough out here. Yeah, you, you just got to just hook me up with that one. Like, give me an icon. The first icon of the year. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, I don't have much trade pass space. This could be tough. Let's get rid of him. Oh, this could be really tough. I'm going to have to discard those. Go for discard price anyway, but let's discard those two. We might run out of trade pass space here. I might have to hold tight for 20 minutes before I go on to the next one. Right, 50k pack. We've got a board or a walk out here. It's only a board. The Dutch board, centre back. It's the three. I don't have him in the club, so that's okay. Nice 84 to go in there. And Anthony Martial or someone like that in here would be quite nice along with it. 
No chance. And again, is Matip worth anything? No, look at that. He's he's literally he will go for about eight nine hundred coins, and that's it. Look at that, a thousand coins. No one's buying him. Lucas Bathketh under a, a seven hundred coins. Ah, oh, the, the market is so 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 dead. Two one hundred K packs. Come on, EA man. Hook us up with something nice. An icon or a big, big card. Here we go. We got a walkout. Come on, big flared walkout as well. Salah, let's go. That's what I like to see. Oh, fantastic. Now we get to get what we wanted for our squad. Let's go, EA, man. How much is he selling for? 300k? 350k? 370k, let's go. That's what we like to see, EA. That's our first. That's all, I said to you guys, we're due a first big, big pull. And there it is, Mohamed Salah. Now the question is, is do we keep him? Or do we uh, sell him to build the squad that we was aiming for? We get Perisic and Lamar in there as well. So nothing too crazy outside of that. Mohamed Salah is there. We're going to have to think about what to do there. We, we'll get almost 400k for him. I mean, it is a good card, isn't it? It is a very good card. We, we are going to have to have a serious thing. Another right wing. I've now got Walcott, Hulk, Messi, Salah, and Nangolan all for that right wing spot. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There is not. I'm going to have to discard all of this. Um, is he selling because he's Spurs? No. I, even, even though it's probably stupid to do so, I'm going to have to discard all of these cards. Even Forsberg, 850. I mean, they're, they're basically selling for discard price anyway. And then our last 100k pack, it doesn't even matter now. We, we've had a banging pull. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this second 100k pack. EA, please. Oh, scream card. Let's go. England. Right back. It is Kieran Trippier. That's unlucky, bros. How much is Trippier worth? And that is why gold one is better than elite three. Because otherwise I would have got 30k's worth of pack. He's another 70k. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I didn't even know who the other England player was. Is there one? Oh, we got Gundogan in there as well. Kieran Trippier. That's that's not bad. That that has been a monstrous reward set. He's got good cards as well. We could link him with Walcott on that right. Well, I have too many right mids. I don't even know. That's not a bad card. A shadow chem style on him with that four star weak foot. It had blistering pace, great physicals, great defending, good everything else. 100, yeah, this is exactly why 100k packs are better than the team of the week pack unless you hit the absolute big dog. Kieran Trippier and Mohamed Salah, absolutely fantastic. Oh, we'll keep a Javi Martinez and Alex Tellers in there as well. The rest of this can go. What an absolutely fantastic start, guys. So as I say, now I don't know what to do with the team. Um, I've probably got about 150 to 200k's worth of stuff on the trade pile and that Salah, I, I'm going to have to go and have a big think about what to do now, guys. And we're going to build our squad for this weekend league. And we'll be back with the uh, the final product. All right, guys. As we go into the gameplay, we have, of course, got some comments. Now, I did not expect to pack Salah and Trippier from my rewards. And it has thrown a spanner in the works. However, we'll get to that in a second. Um, of course, this gameplay that you're watching from last night is... It is just to get rivals points right which turned out to be quite uh, quite nice um however there seems to be where is the comment um so from anthony joyce he says nep build me a team also nep thanks but i built my own after making you guys build me teams i knew i wasn't going to use this is just not true there seems to be a lot of people upset that i didn't pick a specific team from a viewer but what you guys got to remember is two things number one this team that i'm using here isn't the team that I'm going to be using in the weekend league. It's a team that I just had to put together whilst I waited for rewards. The whole point of me asking you guys to build me a team was that I'd have to wait for rewards to see what we got to make sure that we could afford the team. That was step one. Step two is the team that I showed you guys uh, yesterday that I'm now not even going to use that team in weekend league. And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, that was It was heavily influenced by a viewer, actually. It was one of the squads I saw that got sent to me where he had um, Sané, Royce, 
Uh, he, he didn't have Ozil in the team, basically, but he put like another team together uh, with a different striker. I can't remember off the top of, my, top of my head, but the rest of the team was was his, except he had one switch out for Ozil. So I just thought, hey, I could put Ozil up front, get that uh, squad link. And then when I was building it on stream, the stream also agreed, yeah, this is a good team. So it was still built by you guys, right? Obviously, I appreciate you guys uh, sending me the team suggestions, but things change quickly in this game. To the point where even the team that I had built with Sané, with Royce, with Longley, and uh, who's the other centre-back that I had there? Maybe Varane or, or no, Hernandez. All of those players still, um, I could afford them now if I sell Salah. Um, you know, I have like 300,000 coins in coins. I could sell Salah and that would put me up towards 700k. Then boom, I could afford that whole team plus Messi. However, I'm not going to do that now because I packed Salah. Um, so I think I packed Robertson. As I say, you'll see that in this video coming up. You saw it earlier on. I packed Robertson out of a two-player pack. So I can now use Robertson and Salah and Messi and Semedu as two strong links. Just that some people, you know, either Messi um, and Robertson are going to be on 7 chem or Salah and Semedu are going to be on 7 chem. But either way, we're going to have some... Uh, seven chems but that that just opens up the opportunities of where to go with this team so we've got a lot of a lot of options a lot of choices I didn't expect to pack, I, I kind of wanted to pack some big out rewards I didn't expect it I thought we'd pack a few things here or there that we could sell on grind out some coins and upgrade the squad but it turned out to be a lot easier than that after packing and earning well over half a million coins from the gold one rewards today of course um, so yeah, I, I just I don't want you guys to think that I, I, I had no intention of using the team. I had every intention of using the team. It's just how quickly this account has shifted over the last few days, made it a little bit different. And on the note of um, Messi, uh, Abdullah says next episode we sold Messi. Now, much like when I said I have no intention of selling Ronaldo, which at the time I didn't, I also have no intention of selling Messi, right? Until we packed Salah, because now I have Hulk. Walcott, Vasquez, Messi, Salah, and who's it? and Nangolan. I have six right wings that all merit a um a, a starting point in my squad. They can all be starting players, and so it's basically either going to be Messi that goes or Salah that goes, and uh, I don't know which one. But like I, I want to, I'm going to build a squad this this weekend for this weekend league with Messi and Salah and Ozil, and Dzeko, and Guardiola. So I've got to find that last midfielder that I need. Once we get that last midfielder, the defence will just sort itself out. And we're going to play with that over the weekend league whilst I start grinding some coins up, start completing some objectives. You know, the uh, elite um, storyline objective system is there, which is going to give us some packs. Maybe we'll get something from that. Marquee matchups, as I say, will be coming out tonight at six, so maybe we'll get some stuff from that. And just in general... Um, we got a, an opportunity to uh, to make some more coins. And what I want to do over the next few weeks, uh, like literally like a long-term few-week thing. By the way, Messi's been great for me. Better than Ronaldo, in my opinion, uh, from, from how he plays in this game. Um, what I want to do over the next few weeks is consolidate my team to, to the point where it's a great squad, right? Just really strong across the board. And then over the next couple of weeks, start using the coins that I make uh, to start investing. You know, I've got a few investment ideas. I definitely want to still spam bronze pack method. Um, but like, for example, this week, I, I went and bought about 50 anchor cards that I showed you guys for anywhere from 3 to 3.3k. I've sold all of them for anywhere from 4.2 to 4.5k. So I made about 50, 60,000 coins from selling anchor cards, right? Happy days. Um, and what I should be doing is using a bigger coin balance to create and generate a lot more profit. Uh, there's a few gaps in the market that I see right now that will be really, really easy for me to generate profit. Um, and it's just about me. Like I say, I need a coin balance initially to actually buy the cards, to wait for them to boom in price, to then sell them. And I don't have the luxury like a lot of traders that uh, work on making coins have in the sense of I can't go unassigned. Now, I could make potentially millions more coins per week or month if I went unassigned, because I would, right now, as a blind example, Kurt Zuma's uh, UCL card is going for about 900 coins. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Chelsea versus Ajax was a UCL marquee matchups on Tuesday, because it's one of the biggest games on the day. Um, and then Kurt Zuma is not only a rare, but French, so links to a lot, and 80 rated, and from the Premier League, of course, so links to a lot, right? So at him at like 850 to 900 coins, Worst case scenario, you could just sell him to lazy buyers for a thousand coins each. 
if if I had the coins to, I would just go and buy four, five, six hundred Kurt Zoomers, wait for marquee matchups. Maybe you required a Chelsea player, uh, you know, in the marquee matchups. If you are, bang, you get you make he'll go up to two, three, four k. You'll make yourself millions of coins. Worst case scenario, as I say, you could just sell him on to Lazy Buyers for a thousand coins and still make a very small profit. And then also, uh, if EA will do another. Um, set of UCL objectives where you require players, you'll be able to pop him in your team as one of your players, right? So it, it, it's a it's a good gap in the market that I think is a positive thing to purchase. Now, for full disclosure, I have bought five of them. As I said, I can't go unassigned. I can't do it because I, I what happens if I go unassigned is I can't open packs anymore. And part of what I do on the road to glory, opening bronze packs, silver packs, doing objective packs, constantly just packs on packs on packs, doing two player packs and so on and so forth. There's a constant urge and need for me to open packs on this account whereas if i went unassigned i would have to wait until tuesday before i could open any packs and that just isn't how i want to run my account so although i could definitely make a few more coins by going unassigned and, and grinding that area um i have to do it in my own way and that limits how much i can make on a day-to-day -day basis which is why i mostly do it from consumables and why last year i started doing it from consumables is because you can store unlimited amounts of those in your club you don't have to go unassigned so it's way better to do it via consumables. Um, the next comment is from uh, Louis Davies. Says, Mina will never see the light of day in my team. That was me. I said that. Funny how things change, isn't it? I, I didn't think for a second he would. And I'm even playing him without chem style on eight chemistry, which is even crazier. Um, so yeah, he, he's in the team. As, as I say, this team is just a stopgap. I'm playing Pookie at centre mid. I'm playing Mina at centre back. I've got Marcus Alonso, my red version at left back. I never thought he'd see the light of day in my team, especially not as a left back either. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely a case of um, funny how things change quickly, isn't it, man? It do, it does change uh, very very quickly. James says, "Hey, I'm loving the series. I love the fact that you're using different kinds of players than the norm slash meta and mixing thing up. I personally think that's the beauty of fun, mixing up great players with different kinds of players with unique upgrades to make diverse teams. I I agree." Uh, you know, one thing that I like to do in Road to Glories over the years is have a player or two or three or four that get exceptional stats. Thousands of games and thousands of goals. And over the years, we've always had the odd player here or there that has done that. Player of the Month, Hyung Min Son. Um, Chris Smalling from FIFA 17. Uh, our red Theo Walcott last year. And we had another good red card as well last... Uh, no, sorry, in FIFA 18, we had a couple of good reds uh, that, that saw, you know, close to a thousand games. And this year... I also want that. I, I want to have a couple of marquee players where I'm just like, look, these guys are just going to be in and around the team all year, no matter what. But I want them to be players that are stupid good. And I think one of those players, regardless of whether he's good or bad, is going to be Ian Wright. Um, he's going to be one for us. And in fact, last year, was it Thierry Henry that I got over a thousand goals before I sold him? Um, so yeah, one of those players is going to be Ian Wright from the uh, icon swaps. Other than that, even though I'm I'm spoiled for choice with a lot of my positions right now, as we discussed, specifically like the right mid section, we've got way too many players. I've got a lot of good strikers again now already. We've got that Martinez striker in form, untradeable. He's got a very good card. We've got Dzeko. Uh, we could play Theo Walker up front. We've now got Mohamed Salah. We've even got really good defenders. We've got Robertson at left back, Semedu at left back. Um, you know, we, we've got a whole bunch of really good players right now. So although I'm sport for choice in terms of a main team, in when EA release league or nation-specific objectives, we're going to be able to build some really fun squads with the cards that we've got. You know, even like looking at Malin there in this guy's team, I have him in form untradeable as well. So if EA require a Dutch team, all of a sudden I've got some nice players that I can put in that Dutch team that are first owner. Happy days, right? So really, really happy with how the club's going along. Even if I can't... I haven't found out my favourite team, but I am having fun and having a good experience and a good time using players that wouldn't normally still be in the team at this stage. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it myself too. Uh, Ham says, Hey Nep, I've been wanting to wait to use my icon swaps for the base icon swap. Do you think it's worth it or, or am I better off using one or the two icons that I really want? In my opinion, you should take the one that you want, right? You should take an icon that you know you're going to get because if you go for the baby icon, there are like, what, 40 icons that are just absolutely tragic. And you will probably get one of those ones and be super upset. If, however, on the off chance, you're the guy that gets one of those Ronaldo's or Pele's or Ronaldinho's or Grinchka's or whoever it may be, Carlos Alberto or whatever, then sure, that's going to be a big, big win. But the likelihood of that being you 
is really slim if we're being perfectly honest with ourselves. So I would say go for a card that you know you want rather than going on the lottery of the packs. That, that's just my opinion there. Uh, Marcus says, do you think that watching the pro players can be a good way to improve as a player or is it a waste of time? Amazing series. Love from Sweden. Absolutely. Um, I, th it's crazy how the level of skill on FIFA always goes up a bar the weekend league that the pro events are on. And that's because your casuals and better, including myself, will see what these pros are doing and go, oh, I should do that too. And then before you know it, everyone's implementing these overpower tactics that not really many knew existed and it makes everyone a little bit better and then everyone gets used to it gets accustomed to it learns how to defend it or learns how to abuse it to, to their advantage a lot more and uh, you go again but definitely watching pro players not even just in the pro tournaments watching them on streams or watching their videos is a great way uh, to pick up on the tendencies that they use that really helps them get wins. And then the last comment is from uh, Max. He says, I invested about 140K into Premier League teams in preparation for the Prem SBCs. Good or bad idea? Great idea. Uh, again, it's another one of those things where I wish I had a whole bunch of coins because right now, because of the fact that the gold market is so dead, I would be going out there and buying every single one of every gold card as, as long as you can keep affording them. Just go and buy one of every single one of them because you're never going to go wrong. They're so cheap right now. You could do Arsenal for like 8K including some 84s and 83s. It's, it's stupid how cheap everything is. So yeah, if you're flush with coins, if you've got some good liquid coins, definitely go and pick up major leagues, minor leagues, gold, silvers, bronzes, a lot. Just fill your club in because you are not going to go bad with that. This though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.